I do appreciate people that work at places that give you the lowdown. Like you're like, oh, I'll have the whatever. Like, you don't want the whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, want yeah. It. That's the tactic. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Uh, no, I want that. The tactic is, oh. trust me, because this sucks. Here's something better. What if it's a way to get you to buy it where he's like, you don't want that you, one. You don't want that one, man. Yeah. That's for I mean, I that's good. for real men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try to think really hard because maybe you haven't thought of this before. <laughs> I don't like thinking. What's a job? <laughs> I don't like thinking. <laughs> What's a job that you actually have no respect for? Mm. Oh, oh shit! No respect for an occupation? Yeah. Huh. That's a really good question. Like for an example, to start you off, real estate broker. Oh, you dude, have really? no respect for real estate I'm brokers? Oh, dude, uh, I have one. Parking, par meter maids. That's what I was about to say. Meter maids. Oh. Producers. Why? Yeah. Because it's like, f you, dude. Get another job. <laughs> Get like, another job. Go f yourself. It's like, like hey, it's like, f you. Bro. Yeah, f you. <laughs> you don't like producers? Producers. I don't like them. What kind? Movie producers. Movie producers? You don't like what? But they put the you? movie together. Oh, 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 I'm just kidding. Hold on, hold on, relax. Talent yeah. agents. <laughs> Talent agents. Hmm. Why? 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 Not just kidding. Talent needs to be baby. <laughs> Do you have any of them that you're serious about? <laughs> and they need to connect people. Yeah, but then like their agents are annoying, dude. Yeah, yeah. They're no, so fucking annoying. Ooh, I, got, I got one. I got one. The people that stand outside of Target and they're like, "Do you want to donate to for children?" Oh, kids, kids. Greenpeace people. Yeah. I, dude, I don't know what the clipboard I'm, signers. Dude, those people. We just need your signature. I'm like, for what, dude? What is this? What is this racket? I don't know what this racket. I'm is. glad you asked. If you have a minute, and then they tell you. Oh, oh I know. Well, Telemarketer. They were, they were, they were getting at me. They were like, "It's for children with cancer," and I was like, "Dude, go f yourself." And they do the thing where you know, like when the no, girls want to talk to you, and like, "Oh, you ugly anyway," so when you walk away, like, "Oh, so you don't care about dead yeah. puppies?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, I'm fucking. One of my friends is having diarrhea. I'm running in to get Pepto Bismol. Yeah. What if they, what if they actually said that to you? Oh, you ugly anyway. We want your signature anyway. <laughs> Wait, what were you saying? Telemarketers? Telemarketers. What if there's something that you might have really bought? No, I, I get to the point where... <laughs> When's the last time I, you bought something over a phone? <laughs> no, I end up bothering them as much as they bother me. Yeah. I'll stay on the phone with them and start asking them random questions. I'm wasting yeah, their time. Sure. They I'm take me like, off the list. Because when, <laughs> when you ask them to take take you off the list, they go, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, cool. There's no list. There's no list. That doesn't matter. <laughs> that doesn't exist. Start information. Our yeah, information got sold. Would, yeah, telemarkers. It's I not kinda, I don't respect a either. specific job, but we all know in certain companies, and also this happens in government, but there's redundant jobs that are fucking pointless, but someone created a role. Yeah. So like for other reasons, right? So like in the tech industry, sometimes there's a lot of um, just jobs that need to be created because they have VC money and they need to like spend it and they need to like make it seem like, yo, this is a big ass company. But like, that's why Elon would walk into Twitter and be like, man, half of these fucking jobs are stupid. <laughs> Same thing with government. Like sometimes they have a use it or lose it budget yeah, where yeah. you have to spend this fucking money, right? So it it's like, oh, Subin, you need a job? Well, let me give you 50K for this thing and then you'll have a secure job, a good government job. And this fool stamping papers all day doing nothing. So there's jobs out there that have titles and fancy names and like, but mm -hmm. they're really not fucking doing anything. And they're making nothing. videos on like, here's the day in the life of me going yeah. to work at Google. Well, I clock in and I grab myself. They don't do shit. And then and they then do the layoff yeah. crying yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they get laid off and nothing changes in government. Those jobs are meant to be laid off eventually though. Yeah, they're pointless yeah. fucking jobs. Yeah, they're basically just inflationary like things as the company expands and contracts. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that's I think it's called Kafka-esque. It's like when something exists only for the thing to exist and there's no other purpose. Wow. I think those are the worst things because then people really need to feel important. And then yeah. they start to like, I'm a chief officer of strategic planning and marketings. Well, and it's like, well, I thought there's a marketing director. What the fuck do you do? Still better than a meter maid. <laughs> Still better. That's true. Still better than the fucking guy outside of Target trying to get me to sign something. Yeah. I will the, not budge. Have around. you ever seen the ones outside Whole Foods? They're way worse. Yeah, dude. But that's that's what you get for shopping at Whole Foods. Honestly. But you know what's funny is if you, cause you know, like I, I eat at Whole Foods like right outside. So I get to see the all the interactions. Most people do stop because they're the kind of people that are, yep. if they're with someone, 
they want to show that they're gonna stop and listen. Yeah. Oh. It's very suck up -y. You know what I mean? Like if, if there's two people. Yeah, like look guy. at me. One dude will always pass that shit, but if there's two or more, hang on a sec. Yeah, so what is this? It's like, you don't give a fuck, man. I call him something, but I can't. Yeah. Dude, I, I do a strategy where I put my headphones in and I make the meanest look I could have. And that usually works. They yeah. don't talk to me. What about the kids selling chocolate for like uniforms for football? <laughs> Some of them, uh, yeah, I usually walk right past them. I'm like, sorry, bro, yeah. I don't got nothing. Cool. But I got a vent mall, like, don't have a vent mall, and I just keep mm -hmm. walking. That's kind of mean, but uh, I do. That. I buy a whole box of chocolates from them and say, have fun with your drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if you said that to the one kid that really was getting uniforms. <laughs> Damn. No, it's usually like, we're trying to fundraise for a trip to Magic Mountain. Yeah. Or something like that. We want a field trip. And then you see their like dad in the car. And I was like, man, he's fucking making you hustle, huh? Dude, like, there was a kid hustling like that at the gas station um, right by my place. And it was this mom, she had like three daughters, like young daughters. And she was making them, like, she wasn't even watching them. Yeah. She was making them walk over and talk to different people about... Uh, buying like juice or something like little girls like so walking far as fuck I've seen, I seen that most of the time. She wasn't even watching us. Yeah. So sad. It's super sad Or she's gonna be a great salesperson. Yeah. In the future. Or that too. Yeah, yeah. So Gypsies mm -hmm. But uh, I guess that wouldn't be a job would it gypsies? I mean you guys see those gypsies in Van Nuys that's always go like yo fundraiser for my kid yeah. with uh, tr brain trauma and you're like yeah. look the kids in their fucking arm and like <laughs> this yeah. is a fucking lie. Right. It's a scam. Mine's not so much the occupation, but how they do it. Which one? Mm. I fucking hate it when like a Postmates person uh, can't find where you, you're at. And they pretend like no one else can either. Oh, yeah, 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 like yeah. 7,000 other people came here just fine. Yeah. Dude, the fucking maps are you know, the, the, the direct direction. I'm like, Dude. you might want to check because it, t it takes me all the way over here. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, may yeah, want to yeah, adjust yeah. something. I'm like, literally 9,000 other people fucking... Chinese workers that came here just yesterday. We can't yeah. even read signs. Can't even read signs. And yeah. they fucking got here. Just even just when you fine. give them detailed instructions. Yeah. That's true. In the notes. Yep. Dude. Still can't do it. Nope. It's a choice. Do you? Know you I know that you're like a hustler, but do you respect dudes that are trying to hustle you? Every time? Are you like, oh, I, I get it. That's cool. Or are you annoyed? By guys that are trying to stop you to like sell oh, shoe it. cleaner when you're just walking by. I actually support him. I support him. You do, huh? Yeah, I do. I support him. Like, like if he's like cleaning my shoes, like. But if he's just cold stone and quiet, you know what I mean? Then I'm just like, oh, no personality, whack. Oh, you know what I do also. <laughs> you start crit criticizing. Yeah, him? I'm just like, that's not how you do it, buddy. But if someone goes yeah and throws a fat joke or something like that, then I crack up once and I'm like, all right, I'm buying it. Mm. Waste of money, but I'm buying it. I'll support you. That's because he's trying. Yeah, he's trying. Yeah. He's, Personality plus hustle. I'm, I like it. I tell him no, even when I really want it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What, what what message do you think that sends? That sometimes in life, you gotta say no, and people are gonna tell you no. <laughs> tell and then later I go and I go, fuck, dude, I needed that shoe dude, cleaner that's a, so bad. <laughs> that's a funny sales uh, training where you tell the guy, sometimes people really want it. And you're the reason they won't buy it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're just annoyed. It's true though. It is. Yeah. yeah. I've been. I was gonna buy a car, but I'm not fucking buying it from you now. Yeah. Like oh. you just don't want to help him out. Yo, yeah. me and me and Tiff were looking for a mattress, and um, went to mattress firm. No, oh, no, we're about to though. We were at Macy's. We we're like, let's just check out some stuff. Let's just lay on some mattresses. Yeah. And the guy comes over. And says, hey, you guys need help? We're like, no, dude. I think I know how to check out mattresses. <laughs> Thank you. I was like, kind of rude and shit. And then like 20 minutes later, he's like, hey, why don't you guys lay on this one? And he's like, you see how this one doesn't support your low back? And I was like, oh, yeah, I totally feel that. That's why they're there to help. Dude. Yeah, yeah. And then he's like, let me show you this one. And I was like, I laid on that mattress and I'm like, oh, dude, this this one really hurts. He's like, yeah, see, it's too soft. And I go, oh, shit, this guy knows what he's talking about. That's why you got to talk to people. Man. Yeah, yeah. And I go, I go, hey man. And then he's That's like, great. we're talking. And he's like, oh, here's my card. And I was like, okay, man. I'm gonna buy. If I buy a mattress here, we're gonna hit you up. He got, we got his card. And uh, 
you know, that's when I realized that I'm a fucking asshole. What's up, guys? If you do not know, we have a Patreon. I want you to click in our description and go over there and check out all the beautiful stuff we have for you. It's super duper access for only our super duper exclusive lovers like yourselves. You're gonna be getting one never been released director's cut every week. But not only that, you get another fresh, too hot for YouTube video. We say some crazy shit on there. Two videos a week, but not only that, you get to join our Discord and come chat with us, direct access. We're in there, the whole Careful Boys in there, jumping in, dogpiling on people, laughing, playing, joking, whatever, and you can come talk to us directly. So if you like what we do and what we've been doing for the past 10 years, please support our Patreon and click the link below to get all the details. There's so many different tiers, you can see it when you click that. But also, some people are just good sales <laughs> men or women because oh, I mean, you wouldn't have that. bought your blinds otherwise. Yep, see, yeah, that's yeah. true. I always interact. If they came up to me, I'm like, yo, if I was the president, which mattress would you have? Mm. And I get lots of information out from this motherfucker. But you know how sometimes, like, when you're not. What sometimes really you don't was, want to talk to people. Not even that. What it really was is like, I don't know what I'm looking for yet. Sure. You know what I mean? So like, I was like, you're still green, so it's like, yeah, right. I'm like, I have to try out a couple mattresses to be like, oh, I like this. What do you think of this? Well, one? that's how you ask. You go, yo, which yeah, mattress, right. if I'm yeah. fucking, is gonna give me the most bounce back or the less sound? But sometimes, you know, sometimes I just get nervous, man. No, is that I, ever happening to you? No, maybe I'm the guy that asks too many annoying questions. Nah, like, but you are very forward with that. At least you're giving them something to work with. Yeah. Salespeople need something, True. you know. Like even when I was check checking out jujitsu schools, I was like, "Yo, what's your guys' like promotion schedule like?" Because I see those viral videos where a guy's like a brown belt, and then out of nowhere they tie a black belt, and the guy's like, "Oh my fucking god!" Like, <laughs> like that? Or do you guys promote like quarterly? That's so like, stupid. Like, I, I feel like, and then afterwards, like, yeah. we'll go talk. Me and Jill go talk to like the owners or whatever, and we come back. And, I don't know. I don't got that much information. I got a ton of information. You want to know how promote? <laughs> but then, yeah, that's true. But then later, yeah. I think I'm like. Fuck, was I that fucking annoying guy that's asking question after question after question? Yeah. I guess it's only annoying if it's very clear that you're not gonna do it. Yeah, oh. like I don't wanna waste anyone's yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like some people are like that, yeah. where yeah. they're just not, they're just criticizing your business now. Yeah. They're not even like trying to get a ask holes. Yeah, assholes. assholes. Yeah, exactly. Fucking asshole. Well, you know what? You know what? I'm kind of like weird on. Like, I had zero respect for this, but I guess it's a thing in anime conventions. It's like a really big thing. There's people now that they'll just use AI and make shitloads of merch to sell with like different anime things on it, and it's all like bootleg uh, stuff. Whoa. So it's all like um, sometimes it's AI, sometimes it's just deviant art. They'll just collect uh, artwork that other people have done, put it on a mug, put it on the table, mm -hmm. wow. twenty nine ninety five or whatever. But then also at the same time, somewhere out there, a kid saw that and it was exactly what he wanted. So it's hard to say yeah. that it's totally yeah. bullshit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he, maybe he did want a Dragon Ball kite that doesn't mm -hmm. exist in the real world. Yeah. But then this yeah. guy made it because he just makes everything. Right. You know, so it's hard to say. It's, it's shit because you have different vendors that all made their own handmade stuff. That's all there are. And then you have these guys that are just counterfeit shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it kind of sucks to be next to them. I do appreciate people that work at places that give you the lowdown. Like you're like, oh, I'll have the whatever. Like, you don't want the whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, want yeah, yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Uh, you want this. Dude, that's the tactic, though. <laughs> that's that's the best. <laughs> that's the tactic. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Uh, no, I want that. The tactic is, oh. trust me, because this sucks. Here's something better. Yeah, it's oh, upsell. <laughs> Here's the upsell. Yeah. It's or what if it's a way to more. what if it's a way to get you to buy it where he's like. You don't want that you, one. You don't want that one, man. Yeah. That's for I mean, I that's for real men. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a real man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reverse psychology. <laughs> Give me the casserole. <laughs> you know, like those stories where, like, they're like, "Yeah, this this fucking car salesman was an asshole to me, mm -hmm. so they didn't think I can afford it. So I went yeah. back to that dealership and I bought three cars. Yeah. And I'm all like, <laughs> you, you got caught, bro. Wow, you showed them. <laughs> you you really bought did. that Lamborghini. Yeah. It's like." You could have gone to the fucking Ferrari dealership and not gave them the business. Yeah, Perfect. or buy from a different person yeah. somewhere else, the same car. It's like, it's that pretty woman, you know, yeah. where they would just want to walk in and be like, now you're fucking working for me. Work, and I'm like, yeah. you still gave him fuck tons of money and commission. Like, who yeah. won? It's like Home Alone 2, where he's yeah. at the, they make fun of him and he has the credit card. 
It's like, dude, yeah, they're still getting money off you, kid. I hope. <laughs> the best shit is to spend it on their competitor. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, that really shows them. I know, it's like, oh, I spent money at your establishment. Now you make more money off of me. When it comes to sales, it is pretty easy to like not respect certain yeah. sales people, the way they're doing it, like you said. Especially like as soon as I walk into a store at the mall, if they're looking down and they just say, well, come, come on in. Mm -hmm. oh. And they're not even looking at you. I immediately am like, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go somewhere else. Yeah, just yeah. because that's so like, I know you've had a long day or whatever the fuck, but that's such an easy thing to do. One time I had a barber. It's like bare minimum. Yeah, bare minimum. I went to a new barber shop because my barber was out of town. And the guy, my point was at 2 o'clock. And he texts me and goes, hey, can you come at 2.30? And I was like, I was like, fuck, well, yeah, I guess. I needed a haircut that day. So I was like, all right, fuck it. I went at 2.30 and a dude comes out like with his boys, <laughs> just like smell like pot. And like, you know, I was like, all right, dude, this is fucking really annoying. Wow. And it's like, he was a nice kid. He gave me a good haircut, but it's like shit like that where I go, well, I'm never gonna go see him again. Yeah. I'm never gonna see him again. Like that was it. That's such a great thing to tell him, but I I'm never gonna see you again now. Yeah, yeah. Cause you fucked up, man. You fucked up. Yeah, you delayed my schedule so you can get high, dude. Yeah. Dude. And it's like, if you have another guy in the chair, okay, I get it. Yeah. But like, you know. I feel bad that like my respect for barbers just went down a little bit because there's something that happened, but then I know it's not fair to do that. But because I haven't gotten my hair cut at a barber in fucking I got a good barber for you if you need one. Decades. I have a because okay. I just cut my own hair. Yeah. But then like I was like, you know what, today I might feel good to get my hair cut by someone else. So then I went to the barber like really close to me over down in uh, Lincoln Heights. And then this dude was like making it his job to make me feel like I can't get him. Like I walked in randomly because it's the closest place, and I was like, "Hey, what's up, man? Like, um, like, how does it work here? You guys like you do walk-ins, whatever?" And he was just like, he was in the middle of a client thing, and he's talking to me. He's like, "Bro, walk-ins? I wish, man." He's like, "I'm not. I can't take you till like maybe next Wednesday or the Wednesday after." He's like, "You can go on the site." And you can make a reserve, like you can reserve. He's one of rate. those, I'm so busy. But he was bro. taking 10 minutes to fucking explain yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's just stressed out, like, this guy. <laughs> but then like, are you also just trying to like look, feel so booked? Like it's yeah. a fucking haircut. Yeah. I can do it myself. I just thought it'd be cool. And then That's this it. dude, he took so long just to tell me he can't take me. Like bro, that yeah. makes me want him even more. Like, so can I just borrow your clippers? I'll do it right now. <laughs> it just, made, it literally reinforced, it made me remember why I cut my hair since I was- You didn't go like, Oh, is this a famous barber shop? Who are you? Hey, but you know what it is though? If you yeah, find, yeah. Who are you? If you find a legit barber that you could trust, that's reliable, that you can count on. Oh, it's Vins, bro. Everybody goes to get the latest Vietnamese gossip. Oh, yeah. that, is that that hood one that like all the gangsters go to? Yeah. And all the bro the brothers there, they all be f arguing all day. It's it's wonderful. It's Vietnamese. <laughs> Chinese, uh, yeah, yeah. Is the best, but they're they're American. I mean, they all speak English in there. I just wanted a place really close to me, and that was a close one. Nah, yeah. dude. Oh yeah, Subi. You What's cut hair? Well, yeah. Yeah, he actually is really good. <laughs> yeah. No, nah, dude, just so far. <laughs> no, I'll come to you. No, nah, I don't want you to do all that. I'll what kind of that. clippers you got? Damn, I got the wall. I got the freaking. He got wall. Wall? Which wall? Dude, I got the freaking SC Gamas. Dude, I'm Gucci. Blade. Dude. See, I don't even know. It's all good. <laughs> it's all good. The Maserati of Clippers. No, right? I'll come to you. I've always no, wanted to cut his hair. Hell no, dude. I've That's not. I'm not to trying to do that. No, let me cut your hair. Hell so no. sitting here the whole time like. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm They're talking about. Like, you know how like still really you know how like some barbers they just can't stop telling you how fucking busy they are. Yeah, yeah. No, then no. how do you have time to tell me that? Much? I totally get it. <laughs> I just don't like when people hit me up like at 11 p.m. Like yo, oh, I'm out at I'm out at midnight. No, this dude. Can I get a haircut? I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, he had cool. a straight up shop, so I was like, it makes sense someone could walk in there. Yeah. Right. But then he was he acted like the door was supposed to be locked. That's weird, yeah. man. You know what? I don't think there is a job that I look down on at all, but I think the way a person carries themselves in the act of their job is what I look down upon. Yeah. yeah. So like some people, they take pride in their work and there's something about that that's very like, oh, that's so cool. Like from being a janitor to all the way from CEO, like there's, it's yeah, there's some type of like pride yeah, yeah, yeah. and mm -hmm. then they do it well and you're just like, 
the skill behind it. Yeah. Like even guys that are like fucking doing like when they bartend, right? They're like flipping the fucking cup. They're doing yeah. like extra shit. Like even the Turkish ice cream guy fucking yeah. making all the kids mad with the flipping of the ice cream and <laughs> yeah. shit. You Found know? an angle, man. All these people, yeah. You ever see the guys that stack watermelons? Crazy. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah, there's and then there's like janitors out there that are like just always fuck the place is always spotless or like Dude, I don't know, there's just something about it that I think Or even the it's table not scrapers. The it's the character. You know at like the nice restaurants, they got <laughs> yeah. a dude that's just scraping tables. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, let me get that for you. And then they do it in like a way like scraping beautiful ass. Like they're fucking like <laughs> like yeah, shaving shaving the table and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's aesthetic, bro. They make a pattern before they take it all off. You're just like, dude. Just look like at that wrist. You did that. <laughs> the way you did that made me feel good, man. <laughs> I've been into some hotels where you look at the fucking bed and everything, and it looks like like a magazine. Like yeah. like yeah. somebody just made this. Like it's a piece of art. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, man, that's crazy. And I'm paying an extra hundred bucks for this. I can't even do this for my own bed. True. Yeah. You know? But. I don't know. I think some people they do look at it as like these jobs are low jobs, these jobs are high jobs, and then um, there is a bit of snobbery. Like I see the way uh, suit people would like treat contractors or someone that they feel is below them, the way that they talk to them, and and like when I see it, I'm just like, damn, you fuckers exist. That's so weird. Oh yeah, finance yeah. bros. <laughs> yeah, I think like <laughs> office workers, they. They talk to each other different than the way that they talk to like the maintenance guy or whatever. Like I've seen it and, and, and it's just a weird kind of observation. I'm like, oh shit, you don't treat me like that. You treat me like much more fucked up. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>